What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here, back with another video. Just wanted to give my quick thoughts on the Evander Kane signing. Now, I do not agree with the term and the uh, value of this contract. I think Evander Kane got a little bit overpaid in this situation. So let's look at his contract details via cap friendly. So Evander Kane signs a seven year contract extension, seven years at $7 million uh, average annual value. So that's the breakdown. I put it on the screen here. That's the breakdown of how his contract is going to go. Seven years. He's got uh, signing bonuses uh, th this upcoming season, the season after that, and the season after that. And then in the 2022-23 season, and in the 2024-25 season. And of course you can see uh, the first season it's a little front loaded. Uh, 9 million and then 8 million, then 6, then 7, then 7, then 6, and then 6. Uh, this deal also includes a modified no trade clause, uh, a three uh, team trade list. So. Vander Kane's getting a lot of perks in this deal. Uh, I also wanted to look at some contract comparables, which I will also put on the screen right now from Cap Friendly. So these are the comparables to the Sharks of Vander Kane's seven-year extension. Um, Ocposo in Buffalo, seven uh, times six million. Uh, Milan Lucic, Edmonton, seven times six million. Bobby Ryan in Ottawa, seven times 7.25. Kyle Turris in Nashville, six times six. And David Krejci, 6 times 7.25. So a couple of those deals are definitely okay deals, but some of those look really bad. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, for the sake of the San Jose Sharks, that this deal does not take them into a completely different direction. Because I think that they signed them for too long, for too much money. Evander Kane was very, very good for them down the stretch. And I think that he is going to be good for them for at least another couple of years. But the fact of the matter is the Sharks have room this year to to make a little bit of noise. I'm not sure if Evander Kane uh, signing is going to uh, put a damper on any of those plans. I'm not saying he's a bad player, but you know they're being discussed as people that could go after some big names in free agency. This takes a little bit of that money away. Uh, Evander Kane's going to put up some good points. I think he was a very good fit, a very good trade for them at the deadline. But what this also means um, is that the San Jose Sharks, because they signed him, that the Buffalo Sabres will receive the first round pick from the Sharks in 2019. Uh, I believe it's lottery protected. I'm not positive. But uh, be because of this deal, they will get another draft pick. So a lot of Sabres fans are very happy about that. Uh, again, Evander Kane, a very good player. I think it was a very good pickup for them at the deadline. He did really good for them in the playoffs. He also had a four-goal game. Uh, he looked really good. I thought that he was going to get probably around the $5.56 million. People could think I'm crazy. Maybe six, to be fair. Um, I didn't think he would also get seven years. I was thinking in, like maybe a five-year you know, $6 million average annual value. Now you're going to see all these players are going to get a ton more money. You're going to see a guy like James Van Riemsdyk. He's probably licking his chops looking at this deal. He's going to get a ton of money. What's Evander Kane's career high in points? Like, um, I'm pretty sure it's just in the 50s. So the fact of the matter is people are going to start to get paid from this. Like, I just want to quickly look at Evander Kane's numbers here. I'll put his career stats on... Um, the screen right now. Uh, if you see with Buffalo um, last season in 61 games, he had 40 points. Then with the Sharks again in 17 games, he had 14. Very, very uh, productive. A good, uh, good season for him for sure. Uh, he had 57 points one year in Winnipeg as well. So he's not a terrible player. But is it worth the amount of money that they're paying him every single year for the next seven years? I think, like I said, he's good. But now a lot of these other players heading into free agency are going to be looking for uh, maybe bigger contracts, more money. Uh, John Carlson from the Capitals is going to be looking for a ton of money now. Uh, all these defensemen that are coming up in the next couple of years that are just bona fide stars in the NHL, especially some of them who are, shoot right-handed like Doughty, he's going to get a ton of money, Carlson. So let me know what you guys think about this Kane contract. I'm a little bit behind on it, but I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about it. But looking at the contract comparables and how many points he had and stuff like that, I thought I should at least make a quick video on it. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. I'll see you in the next video stream. Peace.